Okay, so everybody knows that I like to play hard video games, and it seems like all the hard video games are these old NES games. You guys have seen my list. But when you do a search for hardest PC games, you see a lot of familiar games, but then there's this one game that keeps coming up on the list that I've never even heard of. FTL Faster Than Light. Where did this game come from? I've never even heard of it. I go and look it up on Steam and people have actually made pages to claim that this game is too hard, even on easy. Sounds like a game for me. Oh, and, uh, it's three dollars. So, you know, why not? So let's take a look at FTL. Okay, so I played a little bit on normal, and yes, people are not joking, this shit is pretty friggin' hard. This is your basic ship that you start with. This is your basic arsenal, you start with two guns, and a team crew of three people. And you can change their names and customize them. So here we go. I'll make a girl. And I'm gonna bring all my friends along with me. So this is gonna be gorgeous. This is gonna be a guy. We're gonna name him Penguin. This is going to be another guy. Chris Griffiths. Yeah. Alright, so I got my three crew members. And let's do it. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, not important. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We got, our crew is completely screwed up. Gorgeous is supposed to be our weapons expert. You're supposed to go here, and Penguin is our pilot. This is the way I did it the first time, and it's easier to remember who goes where, because you gain skills depending upon what area of the ship that you work the best. Save your crew location here, and let's get started. This is the galaxy, or like this sector. You jump between areas, FTL jumping. You get there, sometimes you encounter problems. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. As you hail the refugee ship, a pirate ship jumps into the system. It was using the refugee ship as bait. Continue. Time to kick some ass. Okay, so in the first sector, of course, combat is pretty darn easy. You, This is your ship, this is their ship. Obviously, your areas on your ship are the same as theirs. They have a weapon system, oxygen system, they got all the same stuff. You grab your weapons, start by targeting their weapon system, so that way they can't fire upon you and do damage to you, obviously. Even though they do such pathetic damage you don't want them to start doing anything horrible to you that will bring down your health for when you get later on in the game fire okay now their weapon system is down they have to put out a fire in their weapons room so their guys are concentrated on that now we fire again we take out their shields Alright, now their shields are down. Their driver just came off their control, so now they have absolutely no evasion whatsoever. If I were to take my guy off of my driver's seat, you see my evasion over here would go down to zero. So I can't avoid any shots whatsoever. And they are the same way. So now everything I fire will be a guaranteed hit. Now we take out their engines. He's like, I'm going to fix this. Oh, they put somebody else in their driver's seat. So they get their evasion back. But it didn't matter. I still nailed them. Their weapons are active again. How about we shut that shit down? 
And they're destroyed. Okay, so we got the scrap from their ship and the refugee ship thanks us as well. It gives us some scrap. Okay, as we slowly search through this sector, you'll see a rebel advance. Okay, see, there's the beginning of their fleet. And, of course, it's getting closer. Until you are all the way to the exit. When you get to the exit, you jump to the next sector. These are all the sectors. You have to make it through seven levels of sector areas to get to the final sector. Which really isn't that bad. In fact, most of them are pretty darn easy. Depending, you can choose, you know, the difficulty level. Some of them are a little bit harder than others, but all in all, they're nothing compared to the final one. The final level. Alright, so I got my crew. We're ready to kick some ass. I got all the upgrades. I got a cloaking device. And we have to battle the enemy flagship. This thing is insanely difficult. It's got cloaking device, missiles, guns, a like 12 man crew, but I got some tricks too. I got my defensive drone, I got my own cloaking device. I'm not going to be so easy this time. Alright, we're going to take out his shields. Maybe his cloaking device, because I don't like it. Let us keep in mind, you only get one shot at this. If you lose and you die and your ship blows up, you start over from the very, very beginning. There, he's done. I got him. I beat him. No. What? He ran away. I guess I have to chase him down. Oh, he's missing part of his ship. You stand no chance. Look at you, fall before my might. And he runs away again. He friggin' man, he doesn't have much ship left. Ah, man, those missiles. Ah, cloak. Power surge. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. He's injuring me! How is he winning now? In phase three of his defeat. Come on, guys, fix it. Uh oh. No! Damn it! How? I have to start over. Ah! This is uneasy. Unbelievable. <laughs> 